right, hey everybody, this is your girl Andre Mandavi, and here I am back with another story time. Now, I know it's been a while since I've actually done a story time for you all, but you know, this one was kind of on my mind today. I um, ended up listening to Miley Carter, if you follow her on YouTube, she's a cute a trans YouTuber. She does a lot of great things out here, and she actually just like inspired me from a video that reminded me of something. She had just something like, um... Something about a fat boy, but you know, I got plenty of fat boy videos that I could talk about. But what we're gonna talk about is the time I hooked up with one of my co workers. I love to give a good messy story time, you know, and most of my story times are from the past, so it's not like I'm actually still relieving that sort of stuff. All my story times are from times ago when I was young, dumb, and full of cum, and all those good things. So, you know, a bitch has grown since then, and, you know, I'm a lot wiser, I'm older, more mature, so I wouldn't make these sluttish mistakes as I would today. I'm not that girl anymore. Or am I? It was back um, when I was working on campus, so this is the campus that I went to when I was in college. And I was working on campus because I was a barista on campus. I had worked at one of the coffee shops on there. And so, like, I was kind of like a floater when I worked. So I was so good at my job that they would just float me around to other parts of jobs. Like, hey, this coffee shop on campus is a little rusty, so can you go over there and help them out? I'm like, girl, I got you. Or, you know, okay, that one gets good. That one's been cleared. Now can you go over to this one? Can you go over to this one? Like, that's what I was, basically. So I just floated over to all the different coffee shops and stuff on campus to make sure that was nice and tight, make sure everything was all good so that way, you know, they didn't have no more problems. And I was just kind of like the Olivia Pope of the situation because I fixed it. Um, there was this one day I was working in the library. Now, in the library, there's the coffee shop. And so I was working there for like a few weeks or whatever. And then here comes this new guy. I'm like, oh, the last time I was over here, you weren't here. So, um, how you doing, boo? My name is Andrea. Da, 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 da. I'm giving him the whole spill. Like, I'm training him basically. Like, okay, I'm training him. But like, I'm not a supervisor. I'm just more of like a tenured employee. So, girl, I'm basically doing the training and shit, but not getting paid for it. But I'm also I'm kind of getting more hours than because these are like kind of like student workers. I'm more of just like a whole worker that was hired from the company that is hired through the school. If that makes sense, yeah. We're all working and everything like that. I'm showing him the ropes in the library. Like, hey, this is where we make our smoothies. This is where we make this. This is where, you know, this is how you bring out on the register. Da, 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 da. So, you know, we become real cool. And we say, having some nice, cute little banter. Until one day. Because, of course, you know. The tea always gets out. It never stays in the jar for too long. Someone always got to crack open that motherfucking jar and expose all your little lima beans, girl. Okay, let's back it up. Number one, he was a white boy. Okay, let's give him a description. Let's say his name is Austin. His name was Austin. And like my, he's a cute white boy, like, not just a regular white boy. He was kind of like a more of a fratty looking white boy. Like, he had a nice little beard. He had like this cute little cut. He was like a dirty blonde, but he had like body. Like, he went and played volleyball or, you know, done some rugby or something like that. Like, the boy had a little body on him. So whenever he would work, he would have these like tight shirts on and like, you could see all of his muscles. So I'm just looking like... Hey, um, I need help getting the ice. Do you think you can get the ice over there for me? It's just, it's just so heavy and I can't get him. Like, oh yeah, I got you, girl. I got you, ma'am. Ma number one, ma'am. I'm not that much older than you, sir. Like, get it together. I would do this little thing to, so, like, flirt with him and stuff like that. So, ended up, okay, his name is Austin. Cute, white boy. Look, looks like a frat boy, but he's, like, kind of the cool white boy. Think Ryan Gosling. Think Ryan Gosling. Yeah, yeah, if anybody who wanted me, if any white boy, it'd probably be like Ryan Gosling a little bit. Um, little Austin, he was like, hey, um, so I have a question to ask you. I'm like, hey, so what is it? He's like, so I've heard some things about you. I'm like, here we go again, bitch. Of course, you've heard something about me because everyone at the job hears something about me. All of a sudden, it's always, oh, I heard something about you. Yeah, because y'all motherfuckers won't stop talking shit about me. That's how you probably heard something about me. So I'm like. Oh, yeah, what is it? He was like, um, I think you know what it is. I'm like, all right, if it's about my gender, yes, I am a trans woman. And, you know, I don't really like to discuss that at work because that's not my tea. Like, but also, do you have any questions? 
Like, do you have questions? Are you interested? Not, do you have questions so you can be nosy? She was like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I mean, I respect it. I was just wanting to confirm it with you because I don't like how people were actually saying stuff about you. And, like, I want to make sure it was true. So, he was kind of, like, looking out for me, something like that. But also, he was probably just being nosy because, you know, he was like, wait. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm not around, like, people love to have conversations about me and my tea. And I'm like, okay, can y'all not do that well? Like, you know. Y'all interested in new people? I like to get to know new people when I like to get to know them and so that they can actually get to know me before my transness. So I never really get a chance to tell people my tea. It's always kind of told for me. Um, Yeah, we're talking and he's just like, yeah, um, I, I don't have an issue with it. Like, I think you're still a cool person. You're still pretty. Like, you're still a woman. Like, da, da, da. I'm like, it's cute that you're acknowledging this, but bitch, tell me something a bitch don't know. Like, of course I'm a woman. Like... You confirming it's not going to make it go away. But also, it's cute that you're acknowledging it and that you're being positive about the situation. Um, yeah, he just asked me a few little questions. And after that, like, he kind of just never brought it up again. So, next thing you know, I'm being moved from the location because, of course, I'm the floater. I get floated out because, you know, I got everything stable there. Then hired a new person. I trained the new person. I did everything that I'm not getting paid to do. And more. And I ended up getting moved somewhere else. So... I end up getting moving. I end up getting moved from the library. Library is right here. I get moved to the gym. The gym is kind of like the rec center of the campus. So they have kind of like smoothies and energy drinks and little salads, stuff like that. So they moved me over there because I guess it was over there and I'm getting fired. So I'm over there for a little bit. And mind you, it was a cute little place. Like, didn't nobody bother me. It wasn't that many people. Girl, I got to sit there and watch men play basketball all day and give them water when they were done and that was all love for me but mind you when the library closed down they ended up bringing all the extra salads all the extra parfaits fruit stuff like that over to the gym so every day that he worked he would close the library and he would end up bring up all that stuff over to me and like you know we're just talking every time we would talk we would flirt just a little bit more like i got a little bit deeper into our conversation so he was like so like how do you tell people you're trans? I'm like, well, you know, I just kind of let it out. Let it be. No, no, no. He's like, so, like, do a lot of guys hit on you? Like, are people trying to actually, like, get with you? Like, stuff like that. Because, like, I never knew anybody that got with a trans person before. But, like, I mean, do you get play? I'm like, yeah, nigga, I get play. Do you not see the material in front of you? Of course I get play. He's primed his way, trying to make sure, like, huh, you know, I see other people can try and get this, and I'm getting to it. So he's getting to my mug, he's getting to my girls, he's getting to everything. So while he's doing all of that, it just is slowly progressing. And then one day, I'm at home, and I'm just swiping on Tinder. And guess who I come across? Austin. So as I come across Austin, I'm like, bitch, should I swipe left or should I swipe right? Like, it would be awkward if... He felt like he has some premium feature and he sees that I swiped on him. But, you know, if I swipe right and then he swiped right, how, what, what could happen? So I'm like, you know what, girl? If anything, I'll just tell him, oh my God, that was you? I didn't know that was your. Ha ha ha. I just wanted to see, you know, if you'd say anything to me first. So, girl, I swipe right. I swipe right and guess what? Match. Match. So I play the waiting game and I just wait to see if I'll message first. Because one thing I'm not going to do, I don't message first when it comes to apps like that. Like, I wait for you to message first and then I will follow suit and see what you're trying to do. Like, I'll rack up 50 matches. And if you're not going to actually message me, then <laughs> I guess you'll just stay up there because I'm not going to message you first. I am the lady here. I am the woman. I need you to go ahead and try to get me. Because I feel like if you want me, you will come and get me. And if you don't want me, clearly, like, just collecting trophies like I am. <laughs> At this point, eventually he sends me a message like, hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, well, I'm actually kind of glad that I matched you on here. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, me too. Like, but what's up? Like, are you into me or anything? He's like, well, I'm leaving at the end of the semester because I'm graduating and I don't want to leave college without experiencing everything that the college experience has to offer. So girl, I'm like, is he asking to get with you, bitch? Is he, is he shooting his shot, girl? 
Are you going to block it? Or are you going to let that motherfucker swish, swish, bitch? Okay. So what do I do? I'm like, well, what is it that you'd like to experience for me? He's like, well, I want the whole experience. What a H-O-L-E. <laughs> he wants the whole trans girl experience. He's like, I don't want to leave without doing everything. And we all know what they mean when they say they want to do everything. So what do I do? I'm like, okay, well, I like to see what you're working with. And if you're actually down about this, come by at this day during this time and I'll be ready. So what does he do? He hits me up on that day at that time and he's like, hey, I'm ready to go ahead and get this started. If you are, I'm like, I'm definitely ready. But before you get here, can you pick up a bottle? <laughs> Like, girl, you're not going to come over empty-handed. I need something to relax my nerves. I need something to add to my collection. So, what does he do? He brings over some wine. So, we bring over some wine. He comes over. I go in the house. We're chatting. We're talking. He's in, like, some basketball shorts, a tank top. He's in some slides. And, like, baby, this white boy is giving me body. He done put on his smell good. He done got in the shower. I just smell him like... Usually white men like to smell like some wet dog when they get out the shower. But this man, he used his old spice. He used the Irish Spring, girl. He was smelling. He was smelling like he was supposed to smell. I was looking good because, girl, of course, you know me. I hit me on a cute little tank top. No bra. So my little titty just poking. I got on um some little booty shorts. And, like, we're sitting on the bed. We're talking. We're sipping. And next thing you know, he gives me the look. So he gives me the look like, so, are you ready? I'm like, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> are you ready to get the Andrea Mandavi experience, baby? Are you ready for it? Because I don't think you are. Okay. I'm going to make your jump, jump, chow, chow, go, okay. Make your toes throw up gang signs, baby. Is you ready or is you ready? You know, we just started out doing North the Zone. I, of course, have to initiate because he's scared. Men are always scared when they ask you to be there first. And I'm just like, okay, girl. Since you, like, you're you're initiating it, but you're not. He's initiating by the words. He's not initiating by action. So what I do, I go over to the bed, sit down next to him, look him in the eye, and then I just put my hand on his lap, and we just start kissing. So we're kissing, we're making out, we're touching, we're feeling, and that's when you know, boom, clothes come off, bones come off. And y'all know how grown folks do what grown folks do. So like I said, we do everything. Okay, there's meat that's being gobbled. Okay, his and mine. There's cakes being devoured. His and mine. <laughs> Baby, every, everything is happening. Everything is happening, so like... I give this boy the business. He gives me the business. We are just, baby, we're, we're busy. We're busy, okay? We're busy and pussy. Like, that's what it's giving. So, like, after the session, he just worn out, like, passed out for, like, five, ten minutes. Because, you know, I got that night quill. Knock you right out afterwards. After that, he wakes up and, you know, he's like, hey, thanks for the experience. I really appreciate this. Please don't tell nobody because, you know, men are like, I don't want nobody to know that I've had you. But I'm like, girl, that you've had this? Girl, get out of my face. So I'm like, all right, yeah, okay, I'll never tell. And here I am telling YouTube. But, okay, y'all are never going to know his real name. He's never going to see this and all the good stuff. So that was kind of the last time I seen him because I think in the next following weeks, they moved me to a different unit. So I wasn't really able to see him after that. And then he ended up graduating, so... I never really saw, never really saw him again. But that was such a great moment. And I regret nothing. I'm sure he regrets nothing because we truly engaged and devoured. And no one was left unsatisfied. I'm glad you guys sat here through my story of entertaining one of my old co-workers. And I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Check out my podcast if it wants siblings. Check me out on TikTok. My name is still Andre Mandavi. I post a few shorts on here for that. Next video, I want to do a 10-year transition video. Like, I don't know if I want to go live or if I want to post a video 
Y'all put it in the comments where you want me to just make a 10 year video because like I've been on hormones for 10 years. I've transitioned for 10 years. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. So let me know if y'all want it to be alive so you guys can engage with me and ask questions or if you just want me to drop a video and discuss like what has 10 years in the game been, how things changed, like let me know what y'all want to see and I'll see y'all later. Bye.